You may have heard lately that J.P. Morgan Chase is accumulating a lot of silver. You may have heard they're hoarding a lot of silver ever since 2012. That's what we're going to be going into today. Why is J.P. Morgan buying so much silver? What was the trigger? What started it? There's a lot, there's a very, very lot to this story. There's a lot of lies going on out there. There's a lot of lies and misinterpretations. And uh, the reason why there's so much misinformation out there is because uh, J.P. Morgan does not tell the truth all the time. And people have to guess what's going on. But we're going to go into it. Uh, the first thing you have to understand is that J.P. Morgan Chase is involved with the police state. That's very important because uh, a lot of people think that J.P. Morgan Chase, they're geniuses, they're smart, they're on Wall Street, they're clever. Well, the fact is, they're not very clever. Actually, J.P. Morgan is clearly not the smartest bear in the woods. I mean, after the uh, housing market collapse and they and all the Wall Street banks went broke and uh, Goldman Sachs had to be bailed out. All, all these, all these so-called geniuses had to be bailed out after they gave uh, unemployed people four hundred thousand dollars to buy a track home. They all had to be bailed out by the taxpayer. So, the first thing I want to go into is J.P. Morgan and all the idiots that sit in the desk behind a computer in Wall Street and Manhattan and wherever. They're not the smartest bear in the woods, no. But what's more important than that, they don't have to be smart. They have inside information. They are involved in, like I said, they're involved in the police state. They have information coming from, from the NSA and the CIA. There are actually CIA people who have offices in every one of these major Wall Street firms like Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan Chase. They're all interconnected. That is something you cannot ever leave out of the picture. Once you get that in your mind, now we can go forward to why J.P. Morgan Chase is buying so much silver. Now, if you're going to buy silver for yourself, I recommend you buy a, a roll of silver eagles like this. You're looking at a picture of a roll of silver eagles. They're pretty. They're legitimate. They come from the U.S. Mint. They're minted by the United States Treasury Department. They're a beautiful coin. More important than that, they're actually legal tender. If we get into some gray areas in the future where politicians feel like they have to put their jack boot on our neck a little bit harder, you're going to want a legal tender coin. That's why this is probably the most popular coin out there for silver buyers. Not only is it beautiful, you pay a little extra for it because of its finely made quality, but like I said, it's also legal tender. That may play a big, big role in the future. But let's go back to J.P. Morgan Chase. As I said, they're clearly not the most uh, smartest bear in the woods. Matter of fact, without the taxpayer, they'd all be out of business today. And some of the smarter banks, some of the smaller the, some of the smarter, smaller banks would have been able to go in there and buy J.P. Morgan up, buy their assets up for pennies on a dollar. That's how you know it's a crooked, fixed system. It's uh, The system is fixed. It's crooked. The government did not want uh, some of the more clever banks to go in there and buy Goldman Sachs up and J.P. Morgan. They didn't want to buy them up for pennies on a dollar, so they had the taxpayer bail them out. And, well, the Ponzi, the Ponzi scheme continues. So, I know I'm rambling now about how stupid J.P. Morgan is, but let's go into what they do well. And Like I said, uh, before, I do, before I go into that, what, this is actually called a monster box. You're looking at a monster box of silver eagles. There's 25 rolls in this box. There's like 500 ounces of coins. And this baby cost about $9,000 today with the price of silver at $14.20. and like 20 cents. So if you got $9,000, you can buy one of those. But let's go back. I'm gonna, I want to tell you what J.P. Morgan Chase does good. Well, what they do good is they align themselves with powerful people. They align themselves with the CIA, the NSA. 
what do the CIA and the NSA do very well? Well, they spy on us. That's all they do. They sit in an office and they, that's the only thing they really do is spy on you and me. Obviously, they're not very cle- they're not they're not very clever enough to spy on the bad guys. Like you know, you listen to what what happened on Friday the thirteenth over uh, across the pond. Obviously, these guys are not clever enough to catch the bad guys, but they do very very well you know, at spying on people like you and me who are doing nothing wrong. So why is that important? Well, it's easy. What did J.P. Morgan do? during the housing market. All these guys got into packaging up housing and selling them to the Chinese. and They got into the housing market because everybody wanted a house. I'll repeat that because it's, very, it's not that J.P. Morgan was clever when they got into the housing market. No, it's be, they got into the housing market because they knew everybody wanted a house. They were bidding the houses up to very, very high prices. Prices that went way too high. And then, of course, when the collapse happened, everybody got caught, everybody got burnt. That's important when we go into silver. Why? Because now what J.P. Morgan Chase has found out through their NSA friends and their CIA friends, that all the smart people want silver now. So the fact is that the smartest people in the room today are accumulating silver. They're doing it in uh, small scale, very, very small scale compared to what the, you know, Wall Street and the world is uh, familiar with. But the, the, the bottom line is, this is what the NSA has found out since the 2008 housing collapse. What the masters have actually found out is all the smartest people in the room are slowly accumulating a lot of silver. Well, see, that's all... That's all information is. Information is power. So that's why they spy on you and me. They want to know where the money is. But more important, they want to know what money is. You see, money changes all the time. Money's been changing for 2,000 years. Every time a new empire takes over, there's a new currency. Only thing that stayed really stable for the last 2,000 years is that gold and silver has been money for two thousand over 2,000 years. Now, any, any time a new empire uh, spreads its wings, it has its own currency, and it uses that currency to spread its empire. That's very, very, very clear. So the most important thing that the NSA does is when they're spying on Americans and they're spying on the world, basically, they want to find out what the people are buying, what they want, what they're talking about in their home, and silver is at the forefront. That's why J.P. Morgan has been accumulating what they admit, okay? They admit that they bought over 50 million ounces of silver since 2012. That's what they admit to. There's other silver experts who claim that J.P. Morgan may be holding over 300 million ounces. Now, that's important because the annual global silver output is only about 800 million ounces. I'll repeat, the world only produces about 800 million ounces of silver per year. Now you're starting to understand why J.P. Morgan is starting to buy more and more silver, because they know Americans and the world want silver, so that, and J.P. Morgan is in the business of selling things. That's what they do. That's why they were in the housing market. That's why Wall Street got into the housing market. They packaged up all those uh, mortgage-backed securities, sold them to China. They were all worthless, but that's what people wanted. J.P. Morgan sells people what they want. Now, of course, everybody got killed in the housing market. It all came crashing down, but that's what happens when you deal in fraud. We're not going to go into why the housing market was so, so much fraud involved, but whenever banks... We're giving unemployed people 400000 to buy a track home. You knew something was going to go wrong. Now, with silver, what could possibly go wrong? There's, we're talking about something that has been money for over 2,000 years. And remember, there was a time when China was a, a big, big power. Yes, go back in history. You'll remember China was a big power at one time. They've always been a, uh, they've always been a presence. China is huge. 
and China at one time loved silver. So what we're going, we're coming 360 here. We're going all the way around. It's the yin and yang, if you will. China will always love silver. And guess what? China's China is coming to the forefront again. So JP Morgan is buying silver because they know people want it. And here's the most important part I'm going to tell you of this video. Why the game is fixed is because JP Morgan Chase has access to unlimited amounts of fake, free Federal Reserve notes. I'll repeat that. JP Morgan has access to unlimited amount of fake money. And it's by no coincidence that the price of silver is now at its lowest in years and JP Morgan is buying it up with fake money. Where does that leave you and me? That leaves you and me. We have to buy silver with hard-earned money. Yes, we buy our silver with hard-earned money. JP Morgan buys it up, slops it all up, hoards it with free money. We're not. We're we're at a big, big disadvantage, aren't we? But that's not the entire story. Yes, they have unlimited amount of money from the Federal Reserve System. They can buy all the silver they want. They can hoard it. But that's not the whole picture. Part of the picture also is there was a time after the housing collapse where a lot of people were crying on the internet about J.P. Morgan short position, how they were manipulating the price of silver. And what happened is, I, I forgot to mention that, as they're buying all this silver for the last couple years, as they're accumulating over 50 million ounces of silver, they also have the largest short position on paper with silver than anybody in the world. I repeat that. As they're buying up millions and millions of ounces of silver, they also have the largest short paper position in silver in the world. So it doesn't take a genius to figure out that as they're pushing the price down with fake paper, or uh, yeah, with short, they're shorting it. As they're shorting the silver on, with paper, and then they're buying it the physical with the free Federal Reserve notes they get, Obviously, it's very, that's very, very smart. That's another thing they do really, really smart, is when they use their information, they manipulate the system. See, if you and me did that, we'd be in jail. That's another thing, they, like I say, they do, they're not the smartest bear in the woods, but they, they have, like I say, they have good friends. They have people in the CIA, the NSA, but they also have people in the government. And if you and me, trust me on this one, because if you and me shorted silver paper in the millions of ounces, we shorted it, on, and then we turned around and bought it on the physical side as we pushed the price down, you and me would be in jail. That, I know, is a fact. So, yes, what J.P. Morgan does is they have friends in the government. They have lots of good friends. That's the only thing they do good. And now they're accumulating silver because they know the Americans want it because we're being spied on. But it's not all, it's not, it's not the majority of Americans, remember. There's a lot of Americans they could care less about. There's people, there's Americans uh, that, are, that are selling drugs in the hood. They don't care about them. You don't, you don't get any information from a drug dealer or somebody drinking on drugs. You don't get any information. The, the reason, the people, they're spying on you and me because we're talking about silver. We're the, if, you, if you want a box of this, if you want this monster box of silver, that makes you the smartest man in the room. That's who they're spying on. They're spying on you and me because they want our information. They want our intelligence. Because they're too dumb to understand why we want silver. See, that's the whole idea. The government NSA boys are dumb. They don't understand what we see in this silver. So they have to spy on us and they have to try to figure it out. They say, what, why do these guys want this stupid silver? Why, why, we don't understand it. We're, we're just NSA analysts. We're, dumb. we're so fucking dumb. We're so stupid. Exactly. NSA boys, the CIA, they, they're, they're government workers. They get taxpayer money. They're not very clever. They have to spy on you and me. And then they know that we want this stuff. So they, they tell J.P. Morgan to buy a whole bunch of it. And guess what happens when the price goes up? Yes, when the price goes up, they're going to have a big, big inventory to sell to you and me. So that's, that's it. I mean, it, it's not really, it doesn't, you don't have to be that smart to figure this out. Okay, J.P. Morgan lost their ass off in the housing market. The taxpayer bailed him out. 
And then they had to sit around for two years and say, what are we going to sell? There's, the, the Americans are broke and we got nothing to sell. So they, 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 got, they got involved with their NSA boys. They started accumulating a whole lot of intelligence by spying on us. They figured out, oh, it turns out our analysts have figured out that all the smartest people in America want silver. Okay, we'll start. We'll just buy it all up. More, and more importantly, as we're buying it up at a very, very low price, we'll short it on paper. Remember, that is a big, big, that you, don't, you never want to forget about that. The short. What happens when you, what is a short position? A short, a short position is you're selling something. And, more, and sometimes it can be you're selling something that you don't even own. And that's why J.P. Morgan got in trouble bef- during the housing uh, collapse. Because they were actually uh, selling silver that they didn't have. It, it was all paper. And that's why, another reason why they had to accumulate it. Like I said before, people started crying about the J.P. Morgan short position. They were very, very short on silver, but they did not have any silver in there. They didn't really have any silver. Before 2012, they had less than 5 million ounces of silver. And then, and then they start figuring out that maybe people want to hold the physical part of it, but they were playing a Ponzi scheme. And that's why the government also told them you're going to have to buy some. To, if you're going to get into the silver market, you're going to have to have a larger inventory. So it all, it's all one big picture. It's all one big picture. It's not like J.P. Morgan is scared of the government. No. The J.P. Morgan pretty much tells the government what to do. But there be there are times when they all work together. And what they've all figured out now is that the smartest people in the room want silver. That's really what I want to leave you with on this video. If, you, if that's the only thing you've learned from this whole video, well, you've done good. The smartest people in the room want silver, period. J.P. Morgan has figured it out. They bought over 50 million ounces in the last two years. They're hoarding it. And then when they're ready to sell it or when Americans are ready to buy more. See, they, as remember, they're spying on us. They know when we're ready to buy more. When, the, when, when, they're, when the Americans are ready to buy more, the price will go up and they have an inventory. Everybody's happy. It's really not that, it's not, it's not that hard to figure out. 